Hi, I'm Epoch, and in this video I'm going to help you build your house in time on Frog Island. Now first off, we actually need the help of two different NPCs, the merchant and the carpenter. But of course, nothing is free even on this island, so let's help them out first. The carpenter is basically looking for two tools. The first day he will be looking for a saw, which you can find in the forest northeast from the fisherman's house. And if you can't find the carpenter to give him his saw he, as he will be moving around, just look close to his house that is located east from the town. Now the day after you return him the saw, he will be looking for his hammer. So you can just find this in the southeastern part of the main island on this small little pier. Return it to the carpenter who is cutting down some trees east from his house. The day after you give him the hammer, he will start working on the bridge to the western islands. Now, once the bridge has been completed, you can actually find the carpenter at the stone foundations east of the farmer's house and basically also east of your spawn point. Now, he will only really start working on your house if you actually pay him in golden coins and you can only get golden coins from the merchant. Now, if you actually start talking with the merchant, he will actually ask for specific items and if you actually deliver those items to him, then you will get some golden coins. But he only does this after you give him the lantern from the hermit. Now the hermit is about halfway up the hill, so right behind the town. The hermit will basically want you to do two things for him, each on a separate day. Now first off, he wants you to remove the bell from the church, so just go south from the hermit, jump on the bell tower and remove it. But don't put it away too far because probably the acolyte is going to ask you to replace it once again on the bell tower a little bit later on. The day after, the hermit is going to ask you for an ice brew. Now, the problem with creating an ice brew is that you actually need an ice flower, and that's a little bit more difficult to get. For this, you need to go further up the mountain, past the hermit, but you shouldn't do this just yet, as there is going to be a door along the way blocking your path. First, go to the east island, jump over the sandbank to get there and not drown along the way. Go to the most northern part of that island and you will find a purple crystal. With this purple crystal, you can actually open a mysterious door. So just go back to the main island, past the hermit, up the mountain and just open the door. And once it's open, just climb the mountain to, all the way to the top. At the very highest point, you are going to find three ice flowers. So just pick one up and go back to town. In the town, you are going to find a tavern keeper and he's going to explain to you how you can actually brew an ice brew with this ice flower. You will need to wait another night, but in the morning you will get an ice brew that you can give to the hermit. And he will give you his lantern that you can give to the merchant and you will get a wheel in return. Now the day after you give the lantern to the merchant, you know, you can start asking what he wants. Sometimes these are brews, sometimes these are just regular items. And just give him whatever he asks for and he's going to give you a golden coin. If you can't give him that specific item because it's just too much work or you don't want to do it or whatever. Well, basically you can wait a few days and then he's going to ask a new item after about two in-game days. Once you have a golden coin, you can give it to the carpenter but only give him one per day and do this for three consecutive days. If you give him two or three coins on the same day, he won't start working Im immediately for three different days. He will only work the, the same day if you actually give him a gold coin on that day, if that makes sense. Once you've actually built your home, well then basically you can start displaying your most prized possessions. Like for example, the red totem that you get from completing the ritual. You know the one, the one that I explained in this video right here, but don't click on it just yet. Be sure to subscribe and like the video if you found the video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over there.